she don't deserve. But guess what? Even though we don't deserve, we know we don't deserve. But we serve a God that God said he will give us favor with him and me. And I, I, I listened to that song as it was being sung, he made a way. When it looked like it was over. It looked like all hope was gone, but he made a way. Anybody ever been in a position where it looked like you weren't going to never come out of what you were in? Anybody ever been in a position where it looked like you were stuck? Looked like you were in the midst of quicksand every time you tried to move. Looked like you got deeper and deeper.
take it for granted. Oh, how blessed you are. But for those of us that have been in situations where our own family members forgot about us, I was that child that I didn't know that I was the seventh child. I was the seventh child. They had so many children, I guess they forgot my birth. Yeah. 
called to be anointed. He even got in a boat for And he said, yeah, there's one out there with the sheep. He out there, you know he ain't smelling good. I don't even want him to come in here because we got company. But God told him to call him in. And when he called him in, Samuel said, this is the one. God said, that's the one. And, and all his dirt, all this stuff that was on the outside of him, all that smell that was on the outside of him, God told Samuel to anoint him. And when Samuel anointed him, somebody knew in the pain about the Holy Spirit. God said, from that point on, Thing. 
Jesus. How God loved us so much, even in our mess. God loved us so much, and He showed His favor on our lives while we were yet sinners. And then he took him. And he told him, he said, now, 
you know God got you in his hand. He said, so if you just jump off this hill, the angels will catch you. I want y'all to know that there are no scriptures better than you do. But what he's going to do, he's going to twist God's scripture. But you got to know in your spirit, that's why you got to study to show yourself a proof. Because the enemy going to come and tell you some stuff. He's going to twist with this because 
my word for this anointing. You feel like you done did so much. And you know people talking about you. But guess what? Those same folks that's talking about you, whenever they get ready to tell their story, and when they get to the part they don't want nobody to know, they act like they go Favor has come to this house and it's 
is your choice to receive it right now. So all of us that know God gave us stuff. And we know we didn't deserve it. He gave us jobs and he gave us careers and he gave us family. We didn't deserve it. If you know God did it for you, I need you to just stand up and give God some praise. Because you know that nobody do it for God. If you know him and had not this for the Lord on your side, you would even be him. If you know that God was a God for you, that no man can close, you need to give God a praise. If you know that the blessing